Hi again, and welcome to day 15. We are at the halfway mark of our 30 days of prayer for our children. And I'm already getting a little sad that it's halfway done. <laughs> so I know we have another 15 days ahead of us, but, um, but I'm just, I'm enjoying this so much. I'm loving focusing on my kids and just going to God. I've had so many just revelations as I've been praying through these things and talking with you about these things. And I hope it's been the same for you. So let us know in the comments if you're finding this valuable. And um, let us know by email, connect at prayingchristianwomen.com if you're finding this valuable and how you're being impacted by this 30 days of prayer for your children and how you're seeing God work. I'm expecting by now you're starting to see transformation in yourself or in your kids. And if you're not seeing it yet, oh, be totally sure and completely confident that it is happening. Movement is happening in the heavenlies, even if you can't see it yet. But I hope you can see it. And I'm just praying that God will be giving you little glimpses of his hand at work and just the power that he's unleashing through your faithfulness in interceding for your children. So today we're going to talk about wisdom. And I just really believe that, um, well, I'm going to open with a, with a scripture that really sums this up. Proverbs 14, 7 through 9, stay away from a fool for you will not find knowledge on their lips. The wisdom of the prudent is to give thought to their ways, but the folly of fools is deception. Fools mock at making amends for sin, but goodwill is found among the upright. Um, it just says, stay away from a fool. Don't be a foolish person. Don't, don't associate with foolish people. And that's what we want for our kids. We want them to be inherently wise and we want them to stay away from folly and foolish people. So today um, I want to talk a little bit about the difference between knowledge and wisdom because, or I should say information and wisdom because there's so much information out there and most of it, I would even, I would be willing to say most of it is not wisdom or it's false wisdom. The Bible talks about there's wisdom that the world gives and there's wisdom that God gives. And the internet, you know, gives us knowledge and information at our fingertips. You could Google how to do open heart surgery and, you know, maybe watch a video. <laughs> I'm, I'm sort of exaggerating here. You're not going to do open heart surgery after watching a how-to on YouTube. But you can pretty much do anything or at least learn how anything is done by looking on the internet. Um, you can get the answers to all of your questions answered by Googling. So information is at our fingertips. And this calls for even more discernment because there's no more filter of wise counsel. You know, it's just all out there. And it's information overload really is what it is. And it's hard to know what is good and what is bad and what is good information and, and valuable and what is just fluff. So our prayer today is for these children of ours to walk in wisdom, to not just gain knowledge or information or do well in school or get a good job, to walk in wisdom. Because no matter what, that is a foundational thing that they need in their lives if they're going to live abundantly and successfully and for God's glory. They need to have wisdom. So let's pray today that, um, that they would have the wisdom from heaven that God desires for all of his children to walk in. Father God, we just lift up our children to you today with a little bit of fear. I will confess I have fear for the future of my children because I see all of this crazy information out there and I'm afraid that they will be led astray by false teachings, by false wisdom, by people that are out there looking good on the surface but having bad intentions. God, we just, um, we just pray that you would impart godly wisdom. Father, that they would just be filled with your Holy Spirit and that they would be able to be discerning individuals. James 3.17 sort of sums it up for us, but the wisdom that comes from heaven is first of all pure, 
then peace loving, considerate, submissive, full of mercy and good fruit, impartial and sincere. God, that seems to fly in the face of knowledge. Knowledge puffs up. It makes us confrontational. It can make us angry when other people disagree with us. It can make us conflict loving, looking for a fight, looking to pick a fight. I think of social media and how often just the comments are so ugly. God, we just pray this over our children, the wisdom that comes from heaven, Father, that they would be pure of heart, that they would be peace-loving, that they would be wise and considerate, that they would be submissive, that they would be humble, that they would be full of mercy and good fruit, not angry fruit, not confrontational, conflict-loving fruit, God, but good, pure fruit, that they would be impartial and sincere going back to masks, that those masks would be off, God. Father, we just pray that they would be leaders, that people would see their wisdom and know that it is from you, God, that it's not of this world and that it's different, that it would stand out as this world increasingly darkens, that their light would shine so brightly, that you would plant and water the seeds of wisdom in the hearts and minds of our kids, and that they would just walk in these qualities in increasing measure day by day. In Jesus' name, amen.